Hey, Gunner. Hey, come here. Gunner. Gunner. Doggone watch. Come here, Buckle. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That was probably one of the coldest nights I've had yet in a truck. It's a good thing I had a dogo to keep me warm. Got down to like 20 degrees. And I don't even have my sleeping bag. Oh, I'm so sore. You know, like your lower back, like like your butt cheeks almost, when they get sore from walking or standing, or I don't even know what that was from. Maybe it was from trying to cater to the dog last night, because he was a bad dog, dude. It got cold, though, so I'm glad I had had the pooch. I slept out of everything, man. Jackets, pants, flannels. Uh, I'm sure I look like a million bucks right now, too. Just put me in a shower. Day number two of hunting. Yeah, we'll just call it day number two. It, our first day was kind of 30 minutes of nothing. Um, we're driving to a closer spot or a different spot that people saw more birds at yesterday. We had 36 bird contacts yesterday, and these guys had 30, or no, sorry, 46. Yeah. They had 46. That's pretty phenomenal bird contact, so we're going to try to get some grouse. They had a lot of grouse contact, and a lot of woodco woodcocks, a lot of female woodcocks, so I have reason to believe that they could still be here today. Looking forward to beating some more brush today. Yeah, right. I'm definitely feeling it. I'm tired, but it's all worth it. We put on like seven miles inside of really thick stuff. I'd say a mile, I'd say a half mile, but we walked yesterday. It wasn't in thick brush. You guys can tell from the GoPro footage, I mean, there's just like trees in your face the whole time. You're just getting slapped around and it was great. But uh, there's not really a bone in my body that wants to do that right now, but I'm sure it'll change once uh, we get out of the trucks and get the dogs unloaded and the birds are in the air. I'm still in like the honeymoon period. It's like, oh, it's so awesome. I could see how you get burnt out of this. <laughs> No. no. Oh, there's a grouse on the side of the road there. Oh, really? I saw it the last second. I tried to hit it with my car, but it didn't fly off. It, <laughs> it literally walked into the woods. <laughs> why, didn't they, why didn't they send the dogs out? Put the puppies on them. Alright, spot number one. Let's see if we can make it happen. Sure. Thanks. Alright.
Yeah. Yeah. What? We were just, it might have been a grouse in a tree. Good mattress. Down. I got a mark on this one. Yep. You get one? You get one, buddy? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Gunner. Whoa, they're backing. Whoa, they're backing. Are they really? Here, here, here. here. Whoa, they're both pointing. Hang on. Whoa. 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 They're looking into the street. I'll go in and drop to the left here. Oh! Dead bird! Oh! Dead bird! Nice job, man. Nice job. <laughs> it was to the left. And the double back. Yeah! Touch it up! Come on! Matt smoked it. Yeah, he did. Got him. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good, job. Good boy, come here. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Why do I keep putting giant holes in these things, dude? Awesome. I keep putting giant holes in these things. I'm shooting an IC. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Okay, hunt them up. This could be hot in there, considering. I'm not fully committed to doing brush beating yet. You can see, like. Where woodcocks kind of stuck their beaks in, probing for worms and stuff, and then some fates. Hunter pointed that out. It's pretty cool. So we got some pretty rough stuff here. This is what's, this and thicker thorns are what's sticking me. When I've been walking through here, it's not very comfortable. So if you're gonna come and do this stuff, usually come prepared with like some leather gloves, some thicker pants. And I thought these were gonna be enough, but they're not. Lots of thorn. I'm in so much thorn. Are you ready to do math? Yeah. You want to get closer, man, after footage. I'm trying, there's so much thorn though. Watch in there. Yeah, watch that muzzle. Okay, watch the fucking muzzle. Good night. Here you go. And here you go. Got him. 
Yeah. This thorn is so brutal. Yeah, I should have worn my chaff. My jacket's good. Yeah. Over here. Tito dead! Over here. Did you get a shot off? No. Justin smoked it. Yeah. I shot, but then like... I shouldered my gun and he already shot, shot, yeah. I was dead. I think Tito's funny. What do you got? Forty yards this way. Justin Tito's pointing this way. We're gonna go over. Whoa! Seventy feet. Whoa! I think I heard it flush. Yeah. Like a skid loader and make a trail. Oh, God. What it ever. Wow, it just blew the f***ing branch off that tree. Did we get him? You got him. On that last shot? Yeah, dude. I blew the branch yes. off that tree. Yeah, you got him that last shot and he folded. Oh, really? I couldn't see. see. I just, no, I shot the pine. See that pine branch right here? Yeah. Perfect. But well, look at. Look at this. I just blew the freaking top of this tree off. Here, we'll head over here. I'll just look at Okay. Dude, I'm pretty sure that's bird number eight. At least number seven. Yeah, it's. I think it's seven. I've got one, two, three in my vest. Oh wait. Yeah. I think that's bird number seven. Water. A boy. The real MVP right there. He's been retrieving though, hasn't he? Or no? He's retrieved a couple. Oh. Oh. Dude, I'm I'm tired, man. Good boy. Good boy. Good hunt. Not like that. <laughs> yeah, it wants nothing to do with that filthy bird. Why do you guys eat these? We don't, Gunner. That's the joke, we don't. I don't wanna be a chicken, I don't wanna be a duck. Woodcocks suck. God, God. freaking thorns sticking out everywhere. <laughs> All for a stupid woodpecker. All right, so we got some birds, birds in the bag. That's what the breast meat looks like when it's all cleaned out. And uh, we're gonna get cleaning on some birds. All right, there we go. We got a three man, or sorry, a single man's limit of woodcock. Pile that into here, close this up, and then we're gonna go wash these off and make ourselves some dinner. Might have waited a couple days too many marinating that woodcock. I marinated it for like two or three days. It's 
been a few days since I've uh, I've killed them, and we managed to get some snow on the ground here in Minnesota. It's pretty uncommon for October. We're in the same parking lot that I cooked up some clam chowder last year. My buddy's back. The snow removal machine. If you guys don't remember, he was driving by like every five minutes when I was cooking up that clam chowder last year in the same parking lot. So, um, wow, well, yeah, still got feathers and blood. I have some preheating to do, so I think I'm gonna do that while I shop. I also have some shopping to do, I didn't mention that, but, so I'm gonna preheat the grill while I'm shopping, so then when I come out, I can just throw the woodcock on it, because the sun's going down, and I need to get woodcock on the griddle. Life ain't nothing but a silly old riddle. Thank God I'm a truck camping boy. Anything expensive and valuable going in the cab of the truck. This is the first time I've left the truck open like this, but this is a pretty posh neighborhood. I don't really think anybody's gonna run up and steal the grill, but you, you are staying right here. Uh, sorry, excuse me. All right, got the goods. Now let's uh, hope nobody stole our our grill. I was checking out the window. I was only in there for like two seconds. Very surprised. If somebody honestly grabbed it in that fa in that amount of time, they deserve it. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. What do you think? Oh, it's still there. Nothing exciting happened. It's at 88 degrees. Let's get to chefing let's get to let's get to that action man oh that smoke is just mmm that's some stank is that mmm is that applewood oh man that's that stank oh got a hot box for everybody that thinks I smoke this is what I smoke right here wood pellet grill baby Boy Joshua, twice. Okay, um, I really didn't know what I was gonna use today to cook up this ish. I was debating whether or not I wanted to deep fry these. Or not. Ooh, I gotta shred this up. Right. What you looking at, man? Just cooking a meal here. Yeah, I'm going savage mode, not even going to peel this stuff because I don't have a peeler. I also camp in a truck and pee in bottles, so... Alright, ginger is the first step. Run him up. Hey. Alright, the very next step, important piece to the pie. Some crushed pineapple. Drain that juice out, I think. I think that's probably a good idea. Oh. Mmm. It's like a... You ever had applesauce? That's... An applesauce. I think that's probably about good. A quarter of the can. You already know. Some brown sugar. Ooh. It sounded like the Minecraft. Ooh. 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 Alright, I got two little kind of tablespoons of 
brown suga. Another piece. Some soy sauce. Man, we got girls driving around. We got grandmas driving around. Oh, we got grandpas driving around. Dude. We got dudes driving around. I guarantee these people are fans. They just stared right at me and were like, my man's really sad. Well, this is also what I went in for, pineapple and this. Wee Willie's World Champion Barbecue Sauce, South Carolina Gold. Uh, big thing is you just need mustard based. Smells good. It's mustard based. I'm mustard based. Next. So I didn't even show you guys that I did this. But two days ago, I put these in a Caribbean jerk seasoning. So this is like a rub, and they've been marinating in there for like a couple days. You can see that it's kind of got some yellowy stuff going in there. I caked these because they tasted so bad last time. I caked these things. I did not. I'm not taking any chances today. I like it. Thanks, man. Time to do the move everything out of the way dance. Mm. Alright, well, while I'm sitting here waiting for these wings to get done, um, I just realized well, didn't just realize, but I realized I haven't like explained to you that I don't have a is that my carbon monoxide detector? It was. At least I know that this thing would save me. Because smokers in the back of a truck is not a good idea. All right, moment of truth. Good? Better. Not quite there yet. Um, but while I've been sitting here, like waiting for those things to get done, I've been thinking to myself, and I don't really have any plans for this winter. I know I don't really want to be here for the whole winter like I was last year um, and being kind of like stuck at home this summer has made me really want to get on the road. Um, have the idea of going out to the west coast again, meeting up with some old friends out there. I'd love to hear your guys' input in the comment section below where you think I should go next, what you think I should do. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to draw me out to the northeast. don't think I'll make it out there this winter. I don't want to be out there when it's cold. I'd like to you know, come out in like the spring or the fall. Don't really want to be coming out there in the winter, but maybe if you can convince me something. Especially intrigued by Texas. I'm actually going to Texas in a couple days here, but I'm flying and then I'm coming back. So if I enjoy it out there, maybe I'll drive down. Um, I'm gonna be doing some a trip that I haven't done before. Like like I'm gonna be doing like a style of trip that I haven't done before. It's gonna be we had a little, little twist for the channel, <laughs> to say the least, but without spoiling too much, of course. Um, but yeah, let's just, if you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below, but for now, we wait. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about the the claws? I don't know. Apparently, Caribbean jerk. It's kind of a thing to put some lime on it. These claws are kind of creeping me out, but I feel like this is gonna taste better than the last recipe we made. Um, I was a little upset. The comment section on the last video, they were like, 
you can't make like I'll just throw a couple of comments up right now that people were saying the best way to cook a woodcock is just throw it out and you know I didn't have many better words to say in that video but I thought I'll take the challenge so we'll see if we can do it if this doesn't taste good though after marinating for two days and then cooking it how we just did in a Caribbean jerk sauce this is it's just bad meat so without further ado It's not even the same bird. It was so good. It's really weird though. It's like a. Mmm. Ooh. Maybe I spoke too soon. It's okay. Some of it's. Mmm. I mean, some of it's pretty good, but then, like, you get a really gamey flavor every now and again. Let's try one of these legs. Ooh wrangly legs here. It's kind of like a frog leg. Alright. You know, the legs I actually like. There's a lot of tendon in there. Actually, no, they're not. It's kind of like a nice little bite-sized piece of meat. There's not a lot of meat there, but the meat that is there is a little lighter and not as gamey. It's not too tendony where it's like disgusting, like a chucker or something. I don't know, snipe's pretty good. So these, these are woodcock snipe, whatever you want to call them. It was a fun day. Thanks again to Justin for inviting me on this trip. Thanks again to Hunter for showing us the ropes. And thank you for tuning in this episode of Mav. Woodcock sucks. <laughs> Would I recommend eating woodcock? I mean, no. Yeah, the short answer is no. If you got other meat that you can get, no. But there is ways to make it taste better than it did before, so could actually tolerate that a little bit Just a little bit but thank you guys so much for doing this episode as always until next time my name's maverick and you know the drill just keep on trucking